Gee, but it's great to be back home. Oh, it's great to be back home. Home is where I want to be. Hi, everybody. Got a new tag for you. I just wrote it specifically for our uh, second virtual tag for Destination Quarantine. It's called the um, it's called Message in a Bottle, a uh, Message in a Bottle tag. And I got the inspiration for it from a couple of different places. Uh, the first one was, well, these virtual choirs are very popular right now, but I'm not sure how many people remember, probably a lot of you, given how, you know, we're all kind of singing nerds uh, but the first real popular virtual choir was the one that eric whitaker did uh, and he did a ted talk about it and in that ted talk he meant well just give it a listen here check this out i'll stop it there in the interest of time Thank you. So there's more. There's more. Thank you so much. And I, I had the same reaction you did. I was, uh, I actually was moved to tears when I first saw it. I just couldn't believe how uh, the, the poetry of all of it. These, these, uh, these souls all on their own desert islands, sort of sending electronic messages and bottles to each other. So I loved that idea of. Uh, being in a virtual choir be like being like sending a digital message in a bottle to to other people around the world I thought that was so cool and so I was out on a walk and that struck me as inspiration for for a tag and literally while I was out there walking with my wife I, my brain started composing this and we got back from the walk and I was like hold on I'll be right back and I went to the piano and I you know came up with this whole thing so um, the Taking that idea, I also wanted to build on something from last week's show where Minoj referred to barbershop tags as being like a barbershop haiku or a harmony haiku. I thought that was cool too. So I made sure that the words for this are actually a haiku. The lyrics, one voice, just my voice, a message in a bottle, I will send to you, 575. There's our barbershop harmony haiku. Um... So anyway, uh, digging into the chords, there's some meaning behind the chords too. Um, obviously, it starts with one voice all by itself because the idea here is it's one voice. It's just you connecting to other people through, uh, through the virtual choir. So it starts with the one voice, and then all the other voices come in, but they're still in unison, almost sounding like one voice, then splitting out to harmony. And then just, uh, just my voice, that chord on my is a minor nine chord. You don't see that very often because the two and the flat three are really crunchy against each other and it's a very sort of dark, sad sound, which, I mean, if you're stuck singing by yourself and you don't get to go to chorus every week or quartet every week, what better emotion than sad and a minor nine chord? Um, uh, then certainly a message in a bottle. That's the Whitaker idea. Uh, and especially it leads up to that. I mean, sending a message in a bottle, this is going to be something hopeful, right? So we land on the bottle. That chord right there is a nice shimmery regular nine chord to give us a little bit more hope. And then I will send, I will send, I will send. Everybody is sending them individually. All the different parts are saying, singing, I will send separately because everybody's sending their parts in for this separately. And then to ooh, you, they finally all come together with a nice, solid barbershop unison sound. Except 
instead of a standard four chord, it's a major a four chord with a major seven because this is just a little bit different and it, that major seven chord gives you kind of the feel of a warm hug. So there's a lot of intentionality behind this tag. I had a ton of fun writing it and it was really explicitly written for this moment in time that we find ourselves right now. So let's get into the teaching the part. Here's Jude, take it away. This is the lead part for Message in a Bottle. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful tag. I love it. So the leads start on three, that's one, three, one voice, just my voice. And there's other things happening, fill-ins that go in between those, so got to watch for those. One voice, just my voice. Then it goes to a message in a bottle. Very tricky. A message in a bottle. First half. One voice, just my voice. A message in a bottle. I will send to you. We get to end on the root. I love it. So, whole thing one more time, showing, and then we'll do it with the track. One voice, just my voice. A message in a bottle. I will send to you. It's really lovely when you put it all together. Okay, here it is with the track in the background so we get the timing right. One voice, just my voice, a message in a bottle, I will say. Hey everybody, and welcome to the baseline for Message in a Bottle Tag. We're going to be learning this piece by piece for Destination's second virtual tag. We hope you're enjoying these, we certainly are. Our starting note is F, and it goes like this. One voice. For that line, really just pay attention to your moving lines, especially your lead and then your tenor moving up with you, the baritone, to that last chord. It's a lot of listening, a lot of feeling right there. Then for the next line, you have to really watch out that you reset your accidentals on the bar lines because the C sharp on a uh is then countered by the C natural on on a. Uh. And then bottle is starting on a B natural and going to a B flat. So listen to that line right there. A message in a bottle. The leads then have a little uh, lead in that we come in with. Send, I will send to you. So you put the whole thing together and it sounds like this. Remember to record with headphones so you don't have the background track bleeding into your track. So here's our starting note. And I'll be as clear as possible where the leads lead us in. One voice. One voice. Just my voice. A message in a bottle. I will send. I will send.
Thanks. Hey everybody, looking at this tag that Steve wrote, message it about some really, really colorful and interesting stuff for the baritone. And I gotta tell you, I've never missed singing with Sam more than at this moment. Some really cool duet stuff between the baritone and the bass that would be just a ton of fun to duet with him. Uh, I'm sure you'll feel the same way. A couple of things to pay attention to. First of all, being nice and light through this is really the key to things. Even though you've got a lot of fits with the bass, you don't wanna hammer those fits, no need to. Just lock them, just ring them, make sure that they're dialed into each other. That's all you gotta do. In the third full measure of this, the baritones really have this added responsibility of outlining the D minor chord there. Do, 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 before you get into this colorful stuff that, uh, that Steve uh, uh, added to the end of that. But that, uh, that, that uh, D minor triad that's outlined there, really important to make sure that that's, that that's tuned in. Um, and then finally at the end, really listening to send, I will, sigh, will send, and knowing right where you land, right where you start the I will send uh, uh, mo motive, uh, you gotta listen to the bass. You gotta be moving in sync with the bass and totally aware of what the bass is doing. So here's how it goes. One voice. One in a bottle. I will send, I will send to you. Right, time for the tenor part. So, lead start, one voice, that's three, five, or sorry, three, five. We come in on one with the basses and baritones all unison, like one voice. One voice. So one, four, and then the lead's going to join us, and then they're going to move. What's really important is when they go, just my voice, when the leads are on that my, we're going to be on this one note on B flat, and they're going to be on this note on A, and you're going to get that half step rub. It's going to be really crunchy, but don't lean away from it. Lean into it a little bit, and then crescendo up to that C sharp. So one voice, one voice, then same note again. A mess, a message in a bottle. So those are just, that's kind of just going up the scale. Uh, so you, you start on uh, one voice, a mess, so sharp five, mess three, three, five, three, four, five, seven, two, seven, one. Mi, fa, so, ti, re, ti, so. When you think about it in that context, it kind of feels a lot more tonal than it does with everything else. With everything else, link up with the lead and just follow that line up and it'll make a lot of sense, I promise. So, one voice, a message in a Then the leads have their own lead in. I will send. That's gonna. It's a little tricky to find this next tenor note. You can find it by the note the leads just sang on the I. They're going to. I will send. You come in on that same note they just left. So they're going. Going. I will send. I will send. I will send. And just like uh, Todd was talking about on the baritone part, the timing of this is a little tricky. So, the. Bass, then baritone, then tenor go, I will send. You start, you hit your word I when the bar baritones hit the word send. So it's not I will send, I will send, I will send. It's I will, I will, I will send, right? They kind of cascade together. So leads, I will send, I will send. 
then a half step up to Those last two notes will probably be real easy to find. So, whole thing together sounds like this. One voice. One voice. One voice. A message in a bottle. I will say. One voice, one voice, just my voice, a message in a book.